One of the biggest, the longest running commentators of all time is Michael Cole. We hated him for a long time. Some people loved him. I always saw his potential, especially back in 2016, was it? With the Cruiserweight Classic, where Vince McMahon wasn't in his ear. It was with Brian Danielson at the time, just giving like such good commentary that I was super, super impressed. So as soon as Vince McMahon left the building, it was... Uh, forcibly taken out of the building in other words i knew michael cole would improve and like i think not only did he improve but his reputation amongst the people has also improved uh, because he's much more free and when he is freer he is better um i don't think it's crazy at all to say that he's easily the best commentator that the wwe's got right now you know if jim ross was there if jerry lawler was continuing uh, they had jesse the body Ventura showing up randomly at Raw, I think, if he was color commentating. We could have an argument, but no, with the current so. roster, um, there you go. There you go. And Kenny, high praise. So Michael Cole, basically, ladies and gentlemen, is saying in the WWE for the foreseeable um, future, early in spring, he re-signed with the E, and obviously he's a commentator, and he is old, as you can see. He's got those grays, you know, growing in uh, more and more each year. But, but um, well, he's a commentator. He can do this foreseeably for like 20, 30 years more. So as you can tell. that's going to be my question. Kenny, uh, what do you think about Michael Cole, his career so far, your impressions on him? And how long do you think is going to continue doing this? Or should he continue doing this in the WWE? Well, I'm pretty surprised because I just looked up his age while you were talking. He's only 55. Wow. Okay. Michael Cole has been around forever. Like he was doing backstage interviews back there in the Attitude Era. And somehow he just popped up on the commentary table. Yeah. I don't even know when that happened. I remember it was always Jim Ross and um, Jerry the King Lawler. Now he you was. mentioned them. I do think when it comes to pairs, that's the greatest announced team of all time but right now in this day michael cole is definitely better than jim ross now people probably aren't going to like that i'm saying that for nostalgia <laughs> reasons but trust me i grew up uh with jim ross as my wrestling soundtrack so i know how great he was but like if you listen to him in aew it's just not classic jim ross anymore no, so fair take I'll give uh, Michael Cole his props. I know it's probably not uh, popular. Now, I hated Michael Cole for a long time, and people might not <laughs> agree with this, but I started liking Michael Cole when he started being that jerk commentator, uh -huh. and he had the WrestleMania match. I loved that run, and I hated when they ended it. They kind of made him serious again, and that shows how good he is because a lot of times when you step out of that like clean slate role, you can't really get back into the groove of just being a normal person again. It happened to Brad Maddox when he stopped being oh. a referee and started doing screwy stuff like you couldn't take him <laughs> seriously as a referee anymore so they fired oh, him okay so okay michael cole he stepped in and out of different positions just like brad maddox did i mean we won't go any further than that <laughs> and um you know what i gotta give him his flowers i'm not mad that he's staying because i do think while he can be annoying the guy's just great at what he does so big shouts out to michael cole glad to see him remain in the wwe brian lights on you i can agree man i ain't gonna lie i like michael cole I mean, I think we can all agree that he's the face of the commentary team. Whenever he's he's needed, he's there. He's the best commentator in all of wrestling at the moment. So 100%, I think you you keep the guy. Uh, he's and, not better than Tony you know, Schiavone. Relax. Oh, he's better than no, him, too. Oh, come on. That's you know easy. Come on. When Mariah May was cutting her promo, he said, <laughs> what did he say? Speak, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. Hilarious. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, I, I like I like Cole, man. I, I, I ain't going to lie, so... Good for him. I think him and him and Pat McAfee make make no, a no. nice little duo from time no, to no, time. No, 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 no. Don't <laughs> no, no. Pat McAfee flowers over here, my boy. Get that up out of here. Michael Cole and Corey Graves, not Pat. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, I'm 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 looking forward to seeing Michael Cole there at the commentary desk. When Michael Cole retires, that to me is going to be like end of an era, bro. I've been this guy has been commentating. Yeah. I mean. Uh, Kenny's life, my life, since I've been watching wrestling, this guy has been there at Monday Night Raw. So, yeah, man. And Kenny go, could go back. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so bro. Attitude era. Yeah. I'm not before. Yeah. I'm in the yeah. 90s. Relax. Bruno San Martino days, bro. So, yeah. No, 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 no. Don't do me like that. I'm 28, bro. What do you mean? Relax. Bro, I'll show you another piece of proof that I don't think he's going anywhere. I mean. While Kato's doing that, um, I'm going to ask y'all, who's next up? Like, Michael Cole... Who's uh -huh. the best underneath Michael Cole in WWE right now? Corey Graves, it's, it's got to be. Corey I think Graves. I, I yeah. find him dry Easy. and kind of boring, to be honest with you, but he's really uh, smart. WWE announcer. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, he can. I think he deciphers the 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 product very well though while he's there. So I think yeah, yeah, I'll give him that. He's the quintessential commentator, like Kenny said, does his job to a T. Yeah. But uh, I would just wish no for extra. yeah, there yeah. you go, extra flavor. Okay, speaking of extra flavor. This man ain't Whoa. going anywhere. Not from the <laughs> WWE. Not from life. He's living until he's like ninety or something. Look at this. this how, how the hell did this happen? Come what's, on, what's man. This is like Michael thirty Cole? years ago. We he definitely see don't look like, like that no more. He definitely yeah, don't look like that. So. He, he look real beefy now, bro. Yeah, okay, but he guys. got there though. That's that's important. He got there before. Yeah, <laughs> I can't get there. So shouts out to him. Like, why didn't he do this with the, I don't know, WrestleMania match he had back in the day? You know what I mean? If he came out there looking yeah. like this, he might have... Ooh, <laughs> check out Big Mike. <laughs> transitioned into a wrestler, man. I'm telling you, but... yeah, He must be had a side a side piece at that time. <laughs> yeah. it up. Or he was looking for one, you know? You, you can never tell. Right. Yeah. True, true, true. I always... But, like, um... Yeah. Go ahead. But you got to have like, uh, what is it? A color and a play-by-play -play guy, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm not too big on this talk. Corey Graves would be a color guy, right? Since he used to be a wrestler. He used to be a color guy. He, like, I think he's over a permanent guy. Play-by-play. -play. Like he does anything. He's a handyman of sorts. I thought play-by-play -play means you couldn't have ever done it. I thought that was just a, the random guy calling it. What color was you actually was in there in the oh, trenches no. that color one. is literally like you give the commentary color play by play is like telling you facts base not trying to go in there okay. too much um yeah. like All right. the color guy brings All up right. the entertainment like he's not focused on you know oh this move happened this is what it's called this is why you know this move hurts this whatever color guy is and like that's what i thought i thought that's what the color guy was like yeah i remember back in the day chris jericho uh, put me in the walls of jericho and my back was like you can actually add like context to what's going on but the play-by-play -play guy never did it he's just telling you about what he sees right so, okay that could be color as well though that like that could be considered color as well or you can say oh man this guy is a big head look at this yeah. loser oh. <laughs> all right but i asked that because like we see a lot of wrestlers on a commentary table now Corey graves wade, um, barrett. wade barrett like who's the guy who hasn't been a wrestler under michael cole that you think would be good on a commentary table when he leaves Pat McAfee, I don't, I don't think it's Pat McAfee. And I don't think they got... Oh, okay, never mind. You're talking, about a, condition. you're talking about an active wrestler? Not an active wrestler. I mean somebody who hasn't ever been a wrestler. Like, they used to have guys like... Um, was Vic Joseph a commentator? Big Joseph? Jonathan, like, these Jonathan, random guys they put on a commentary table who's never been wrestling. Jonathan Coachman, bro. I mean, look... Jonathan Coachman, somebody like that. Do, do they have somebody else like that that's actually good enough nah. that y'all think could take here's Michael Cole's spot? Here, here's the thing, bro. I, I, I've i heard and I believe it because they've ran through a lot of them. No, no, like, sports commentators that so far that I've seen can mm -hmm. decipher the WWE product as well as, like, a Michael Cole. There it, was just, one. it just doesn't happen. There was yeah, one. Marron Rallo, Mamma Mia, and then he got oh. a, like an anxiety. Oh, yeah, Mark, yeah, yeah, him. I thought you were talking about that other guy. What was his name? Not Mike Rome. Um, there was one guy in there who sucked. I don't remember his name, but he was only in there for a few weeks. Oh, I know who phone. you're talking about. What they did with him, bro. I forgot about they him. got rid of canceled Christmas on home quick. Him they did, was it Adam Lee or something? No, nah, they released him, right? Yeah, they released him after a few weeks because he kept messing stuff up. I don't remember <laughs> I don't his name. I remember two, three weeks only, just a couple weeks. I would have remembered like Kevin that. Patrick. Kevin Patrick. No, that guy was there for a while, a couple of months. I think it was Mike Adamley. Yeah, Wasn't Mike it Kevin Adamley. Patrick, bro? They had him on a commentary desk and bro was cooked. Yeah, but like that and was he he was there in NXT for a year or two, and then he, he was on the main roster for like at least oh, yeah. six months. There wasn't like a this guy wasn't in NXT. He was like a uh, Adam who again? I think it was Mike Adamley. Let me see. Oh, Mike Adamley. I yeah, it Adam. was Mike Adamley. Oh, he's 74. Yeah. What did he say? He's 74. But oh. he was a WWE announcer for a while, and he sucked very Come bad. Come on, and Kenny. <laughs> Talking about people from Bruno San Martino's era. No, he was I there know, like during could. the John Cena days, I believe. Okay. It makes a lot of sense that we wouldn't know with Brian. Oh, he asked for his release. Yeah. Only Kenny does. He's old. Because he kept taking heat <laughs> from WWE fans. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Bro, was soft. He couldn't take it. I guess if Logan never wrestled, like he'd be a perfect commentator too. I guess he would ruffle some feathers though. And I don't know, he couldn't be that professional, like a Michael Cole. No way. Yo, Michael Cole is a rare breed, I think. Like he's super professional, smart. And um, Vince was holding him back. Even under the pressure of Vince McMahon, he was doing the best job that he could. Uh, like, uh, yeah, that's the only- I don't think they'll get another one, so yeah. 
Shouts out to Michael Cole. Keep it going as long as you can. Let us know what y'all think about Michael Cole, though, in the comment section, because I know for a while all of us hated him. But don't forget to drop a like. Smash that subscribe button. Get that ring. Get that ring.